In the wake of Newtown, a lot of things that used to be accepted as business as usual or things that were accepted as normal cultural expressions in our country seems to have lost that status of normalcy. There have been a whole bunch of unexpected changes in the last, even just in the last 24 hours, uh, in a really wide range of different parts of American life since the Newtown school massacre. Today, for example, we woke up to news of a big move by Cerberus. Cerberus, of course, is the three-headed dog that guards the entrance to hell. Cerberus is also the name of a $20 billion private equity firm that's made a ton of profit from owning something called the Freedom Group. Cerberus' Freedom Group in recent years has been buying up many of the nation's gun companies. Cerberus has basically created a giant conglomerate gun company by buying all these individual gun manufacturers and sticking them all together as Freedom Group. Well, yesterday afternoon, former New York Governor Elliot Spitzer suggested that it might be time for major investors in Cerberus to pressure the company to get out of the gun business. Last night, one very large investor, the California Teachers Pension Fund, did start to make a move in that direction. They said they were reviewing their investment in Cerberus Capital in light of Friday's school shooting. That was late yesterday. And then, at 1 a.m., at 1 a.m. Eastern, Cerberus announced it will be selling the Freedom Group, that big gun company it spent years building up. One part of the Freedom Group that Cerberus is now selling is Bushmaster, the company that manufactured the gun that Connecticut authorities say was used to kill all of the children who died in Friday's killings. Again, that announcement from Cerberus happened at 1 a.m., and that was the start of a whole day long worth of lots of other unexpected changes, apparently all precipitated by Friday's shootings. The retail chain Dick's Sporting Goods today suspended sales of modern sporting rifles, AR-15-style rifles, at all of its stores nationwide. The company also stopped sales and display of all guns at the store that's located closest to the shooting itself. Meanwhile, the nation's largest retailer of guns and ammo, Walmart, has removed from its website the description of the particular Bushmaster rifle that was used in the Newtown killings. Walmart will still sell that gun to you. You just can't view it on their website anymore. More. Also, a gun show planned for February in Westchester County, New York State, nearby the site of the shooting in Connecticut. That gun show has been canceled. It was due to be held at a government-owned building, and the Westchester County executive says it would be inappropriate to hold that event, given what just happened in Newtown. That same annual gun show was suspended for a decade in the wake of the Columbine shooting back in 1999. It was only brought back two years ago in 2010. But now, after Newtown, it has been suspended again. Another gun show scheduled to start January 5th in Danbury, Connecticut, which is very nearby the shooting site. That gun show has also been canceled. The show's promoter is not as yet commenting as to why.